Right, now you probably know that I'm not very keen on old cars. They're usually uncomfortable, they don't handle very well, they've got rubbish brakes, they leak. But there was one old design that I was willing to travel 6,000 miles to have a go in. The original GT40 was developed by Ford back in the 60s to teach Ferrari a lesson at Le Mans. And it did the trick. The car won the 24-hour race four times in a row. It is one of the most evocative cars of all time. And if you want an original, it will cost you around one million pounds. But there is a cheaper option. You could visit High Tech Automotive's base in Port Elizabeth and get one of these. High Tech build one of my favorite cars, the Noble. And now they've come up with this GT40 replica. And believe me, it is an absolute carbon copy, right down to the shape of the oily bits. The only changes are a switch to left-hand drive and a repositioning of the gear lever in the centre of the car, which allows for a slightly wider seat, with both these modifications being done to attract the American buyer. And it's mainly in America that most of these cars will go to. Oh, yes, one other little modification. They put in air conditioning. Now, that's something you'd never expect, but it's something which on this cruise down the Cape Peninsula is more than welcome in the heat of the sunshine. You can choose from a range of glorious V8 engines. This six and a half litre version produces 480 horsepower. And every time you touch the throttle, it feels like the car is going to soar into the air. And just like all the Ford GT40s that I've raced and driven, it's got a heavy steering from the word go, which lightens up as the speed increases. Ford's own modern-day interpretation, the GT, costs around £120,000. You'd expect a version like this, so painstakingly crafted to be like the original, to cost even more. But actually, you can get to one, even with right-end drive, for around £60,000. And there's just nothing around for that money with the same sense of occasion. At slow speeds, the car is a delight. So imagine what it would be like on a track. the Kalani circuit north of Cape Town, a place I haven't raced at for nearly 20 years. But it's a fabulous circuit, and I still know the fast way round. Past the pits under this famous tyre bridge. Slamming on the brakes now, going to give it a cheap force in. Just forces that smile onto your face. 